Welcome to another DIY projects of mine. This time I am going to show you how to paint the edges of an accent wall with professional results. There is no masking tape needed and you don't have to buy those very expensive brushes. So let's get started. First, you do need the very good quality of paint. You pay for what you get. Spend a little bit more, the difference is huge. Now, this is the secret weapon I got it from Home Depot. It's called the Edge Painter. This only cost you 5 bucks and the result is amazing. This is the trick on how you use it. You put the paint onto the Edge Painter using the brush. Don't put too much paint on it. Then you can start painting. A lot of people use it the wrong way by dipping it into the tray. Do not do that. You can start from anywhere you want. For me, I'd like to start from the top. Do this very slowly. When it starts to run out of paint, repeat the previous step by brushing more paint onto it. I hope you are not in a hurry to get the job done because one key to success is actually going to do it slowly and be patient. You need to do it with multiple passes back and forth. Don't worry about the missing spots. You can come back and do it with another pass. You will be good. Put more paint using the brush and do the second and the third pass. This time you should be able to fill those missing spots. is so strict that there is no way using a brush can't beat this. Not even a professional contractor. One interesting fact about this tool is that if you go to the website and read the comments, some people are saying that this tool does not work at all. And I am not sure why. Maybe they use it the wrong way. As you can tell, this is working very well for me. Now the edges are all completed. So what do you think? I think if I can do it, so can you. All of you DIY people out there should be able to pull this off no problem. Let's go around the wall and see if there is anything missing. Well, one thing that you may have noticed is that I did not use any primer. This is because specifically the paint sets I don't need one. So if you get some good quality paint, it actually saves you a lot of time and money. The end result is stunning. Alright, it's all completed. I did not plan to show you how to use the paint roller on this wall, cause it's too easy. Anyways, this looks fantastic. Be sure to check out my other video on how I installed the IKEA Bester cabinets. If you love DIY, remember to subscribe. My goal on my channel is to inspire more people into DIY. Give it a thumbs up if you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.